<laughs> but hello, hello, everyone. Witness my sub. May, thank you so much for the sub. Witness Happy 15 my sub. months, sweetie. Hello, hello, hello. That was so well timed. I know it scared the shit out of me. <laughs> hi, Matthias. Hi, Hangry. Hi, Curry. Hi, Zodiac. Hi, Weedy. Hi, Scoot. Uh, yes. Okay. So, <clears throat> yes, I uploaded a new short on YouTube today. I would love it if you guys went and gave it a little look. Um, my brain is a little dead today. Not gonna lie. I am in a lot of pain. <laughs> That's why we struggle busting, but we can struggle bust together. For once, the automatic blurb didn't fuck me. <laughs> no, it just scared the shit out of me. Hi, Zexel. Welcome in, sweetie. How are you? But how how is everyone doing? Hello, hello, hello. Oh, 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 um. I didn't mean to get big and then get small. I'm going to be lurking, lovely. I hope you have a good stream. Thank you for the lurk, sweetie. I really appreciate that. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. Mwah. Big. Big, big. Hold on. Big. Big, big. Big. <laughs> big fox. Cold and wet from driving the rain, requesting floofy tails for warmth. Well, they're, they go. They're smacking you. I hope they'll dry you off. How have you been, Sylvie? I am doing okay. My endo is uh, cranked up to 100 today, apparently. And I am lucky that I was able to move. <laughs> so, I don't know how long I will be here. Because if it gets to be too bad, I am going to have to take some medicine and lay down. But I hope, I hope it'll behave for a little bit, at least. Fox so close. What, you don't like me close? I can be closer. I think I can be closer. Actually, I think this is the farthest it'll let me zoom in. Fellow, holy shit, my endo is killing me today, twin. Let's go! We can die together. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, I woke up and it was just like, today you're gonna suffer. Ah, oh, thank you for the boops. So, if you're so close, you gotta give a kiss. I have to give you a kiss? Oh, thank you for the head pack. Thank you, thank you. Mm. <laughs> thank you, Blurp. <laughs> okay. We'll get small again. Um, but we... Well, I think we're gonna just do some observation duty. Because, so, it's like, um, spooky I spy. Um, did Matthias and my blurt fuse? They did. They really did. Hi, Pocky! I love you. I hope your meeting goes well. I hope that they're being nice. Oh, goodness. That's something else. Like, I woke up to a text message from Foggy and some stuff is gonna get a little rocky, potentially, and I'm just, I'm scared, I'm stressed. But everything will be okay, right? Everything will be, will be, will be vibing. I will say, um, when I'm feeling a little bit better and I know that I can be here for longer, I downloaded a new game and I'm really excited to play it. But I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is, we're just, we're just gonna do it, cause I don't know how long it is and I, my pain right now is unpredictable. So, Rocky, who are we fighting? His job. <laughs> his job. His managers. Actually, his manager's manager. <laughs> More so. I don't, I don't know. Everyone's just like kind of up in arms right now. And there's just a bunch of stuff that I'm not understanding. But... Everyone's just, everyone just needs to take a step back and, and, and breathe, touch some grass, stop being an asshole. <laughs> I don't know. But how, how has everyone else's day been? Has your Thursday? 
Is today Thursday? Today is Thursday. How's your Thursdays been? The weekend is almost here. Have you got any fun plans going on? If you celebrated Valentine's Day yesterday, did you guys go out and do anything? After we got off of stream yesterday, we went and got hibachi. And then I had to stop by and fight the store, which was a terrible idea. But I needed, I needed a new bread pan because our cat decided to kind of mess with mine and broke it. But I make, I make homemade bread and so I really needed more. <laughs> Inflated, welcome in. Thank you so much for the follow. Thank you, thank you. Ah, thank you for the love. I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh my goodness. I don't know how long I think I'm... Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and look this up. I've been watching romance anime all day. <gasps> oh, which ones? Kami-sama Kiss is one of my favorites. I love Tomoe so much. Cult, 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 cult. <laughs> yes, you guys wanted cult command. Uh, there we go. How are you doing, Ashton? Welcome in. But I will say also, when I am doing this game, so like I said, it is like a spooky eye spy. I want you guys to help. Okay, so don't be afraid of like, worrying about saying anything because I want you guys to interact because there's a chance that I'm going to miss some stuff. It can be big things and it can be small things. I have played this in the past, um, but we're going to play it again and I, but I'm letting you guys know verbally. I want you, I want you guys to, if you see something that I don't see, you yell at me. You tell me because I'm fucking blind. <laughs> I rewatched Hori Mia because it's my favorite. I also watched what was available of the seventh time loop in level 99 Villainous. Ooh, I have never heard of the second two. I have heard of Hori Mia, but I've never watched the whole anime. Like I've seen like little clips of it and it looks like such a cute little anime. I really, I need to get back into watching more. Maybe we'll have a uh, an anime night of, like one day. Where we just sit and we watch a couple episodes. Mm. I think that would be fun. But I know... Ow. I just smacked my desk. I know that uh, Funimation and Crunchyroll are fusing, I believe. But I also use Brother Fox's account. So I have to make sure that I'm, I can go about it safely. It's adorable and cannot recommend enough. Ooh, noted. Okay, if, you, if you're if recommending it like that, I will definitely look into watching it. It looks really cute. I like the dynamic between the two main characters. I think um, it's really funny that she's more of the very forward and upfront personality in comparison to him. <laughs> But he's the one with, like, the long hair and the tattoos and the piercings. What just- Oh, it's under me! What just happened? What bedinged? What? <laughs> Sin, are you here? If you can hear me, thank you! <laughs> they bought- they bought me a gift off my throne. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate that. I can't wait to get it, thank you. I appreciate that, sweetie. That was so sweet of you. I'm so excited, I love Spiel so much. It was a, it's a Spiel plushie from Pokemon and they're one of my favorites. I got so excited every time I see them in a game. I just run and try to collect as many as I can. Like, I always try to complete the Pokedex but I will always keep a spiel just the way they are. But that was such a wonderful surprise. Thank you. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna swap over to the game and please be my, my other eyeballs. There we go. We got some spooky sounds going on. Oh, I probably should change. Judy. Thank you, Corey, for the lurk, sweetie. I appreciate you. Mwah, mwah. 
Is my game gonna... There it goes. Love you, I like... I love you! Mwah! Hi, FS. Welcome home, sweetie. And Sin, how are you doing, sweetie? Thank you so much for coming by. Should we do the city, the country, or the station? Like a police station. Hmm. How'd the fox doing? The fox is hanging in there. Uh... I'm, I'm in some pain today, but we, we vibe and I wanted to come hang out with you guys because you know what? I miss you when I'm not here, okay? I got abandonment issues and I just, I wanted to be here. Ooh. Everyone smooch the fox outie. Ah, yeah, thank you. I wish, I wish that that would make it go away. Um... Let's do the country house. <laughs> Wait, do it. Oh no, is my game breaking? No FS command in here. I need to make one. Oh no, is my game crashing? All right, well. Stand by. While I... You need to what? I need to make one. It's it's a need at this point, FS. Come on now. Scuff already? That's just my life. I don't know why. The whole game just completely crashed. Are you gonna work? Yay! Okay. Okay, okay. It's a need at this point. No, uh, I'm the needy one. <laughs> you can be How the needy one. am I supposed to live, laugh, love under these conditions? How am I supposed to live, laugh, love under these conditions? And I got really concerned. I was like, where did Pocket come from? Is she here? Is she with me? And hi, Blue. Welcome in, sweetie. Mwah, mwah. How are you? Let's see. Okay. Let's see. We got a basket of, I'm assuming, potatoes. Five bags of flour. Why do you have five bags of flour and why are they on the floor? I'm doing all right, thanks. How about you? I'm doing good. My endo is kind of acting up today, so I'm in some pain. So I don't know how long I'll be here. If it gets to be too unbearable to kind of like sit how I have to, I'll have to end um, to take some medicine. But I hope to not. Best way to describe seventh time loop is about a woman who is in a time loop and pursues different life in each one ends up being asked married to the same person. Ooh, both of those sound really fun. Can't take care of the live or love part, but you can rest assured that I'll do my darn to make you laugh. I love, like, it is so easy, I feel like, to make me laugh. And it is one of the most important things to me, like, when it comes to, like, friendships. Because... If you can't make me laugh, then I don't. Then I don't know. It's so easy. I have such a broken sense of humor too. Like I love those TikTok videos where it's like, my humor is completely broken. Hey, Sal, you watch anime often? Not as often as I should. Hi, Misa. Welcome in, sweetie. How are you? <clears throat> Um, this room always scares me, and I don't know why. How many naked people will we find today? I'm good. How are you doing, lovely? I am doing good. If you, if I, if I take the pain aside, I'm doing wonderful. Um, I actually had a really good night's sleep. I had a wonderful Valentine's Day with Foggy. I got to see you guys, and I get to see you guys again today. I'm just, I'm, I'm doing really good. One of those paintings are the people. Or, wait, which one? These one? Mm. 
nothing's been different so far and that makes me nervous whopper 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 junior double triple whopper flame grill taste with perfect toppers i will i will i will this day lettuce mayo pickle ketchup it's okay if i don't want that if also pull will be yeah whopper any whopper my way whopper my way <laughs> i love it so much um nothing has been different so far and i am scared so the thing with this to know that if you get it wrong everything will kind of yell at you but you can al also have intruders pop up i'm nervous can i turn the volume just a little bit there we go the room before the lion statue the, oh, this? I know. I don't like this. Also, the kind of anomaly... Oh, look. There's an extra carpet. We're in the li... Okay. A library extra object. Oh, look. It's an emergency. <laughs> oh, no. That means that there's so many things wrong. But I haven't seen anything wrong. Hi, Akumaru! How are you doing, Akumaru? Thank you so much for coming by. I'm really uncomfortable. Go back to the bedroom. Was that face always on the floor? Yes, it's a it, that's a painting. We can painting anomaly, maybe change it, please. Hopefully, report pending. Nope. Okay. Okay, the most obvious ones are like this chair I know can go missing. Oh, we also have to make it until I think it's 6 a.m. I'm gonna try a painting anomaly in the gallery just because these two are scaring me. I'm doing good, just had dinner. Oh, what was for dinner? What is this game about? So it's basically like horror I spy. You have to spot the different anomalies going on in the house. And it can be all different kinds. You can have abyss, camera malfunctions, distortions, objects, ghosts, intruders, TV, other painting, object, movement and disappearance, or light anomalies. Working for the currywurst with fries. Ooh, I'm on my way for dinner. Wait, was this rug always here? Um, I'm assuming extra object. Are we working for the SCP Foundation? May as well, honestly. So it's a horror game? Yes. It's like um it's a very simple horror game. I think that there's one missing here. That scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> I was like, oh no, is that gonna be like a an anomaly? <laughs> Feasible, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in, sweetie. How are you? Wait. Oh, thank you for the hydrate. I will do so. Oh, and the stretch. Thank you, thank you. Mm. And thank you for the biddies, Sid. I appreciate that. I'm gonna do my, my sippy. Wait. So if it wasn't the carpet that was changed, please tell me we're not D-class. So I don't know much still about SCP. We need to do another one, but I, I get ads on YouTube and I know that you guys were upset about that last time. Hi, Lily! Hi, hi! How are you, sweetie? Um, I don't think I have any mods in chat, so let me give you a shout out. I need to go back and watch the VOD from last night. Did you and did you and Kate have a good time with your with your Smasher pass? Sleepy, I need to make coffee. Ooh, I hope that you have a good time. Get your, get yourself some coffee. Enjoy yourself. D class are death row prisoners. They usually can do tests without worry. Oh. 
um, movement in the kitchen. It was so fun. Our chemistry was so good. Oh, I'm so glad that you had such a good time. I can't wait to watch the VOD. I was so sad that I couldn't make it to it, but I'm, I'm excited to go back and watch it. I feel like there's something out here that makes me uncomfy. But yes, please make sure that you get some coffee and get some breakfast or some lunch, depending on your time. Make sure you take care of yourself, sweetie. Oh, maybe it was one of these things that moved. Hmm. I'm waiting for the statue outside to move. I believe it can disappear. I'm gonna do that now, I gotta do laundry too. Oh my goodness, yeah, don't even get me started on the laundry that I need to do as well. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Eating discounted chocolate. Yes, happy discount chocolate day. I need to go to the store later or tomorrow and, and get some groceries. I'm gonna definitely pick up some chocolate. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Hi, Chris. Welcome in, sweetie. How are you? Um, We're gonna do disappearance just because, just, just because. I know I have, so I have five. I don't have number six, but I believe six, you get like three wrong guesses before you get like a, like a timeout, like a penalty. Uh, gallery painting anomaly. Her face changed. <laughs> I'm totally new here. To totally new, completely new. Yeah, see, there we go. I know that there can be like shadow people that appear. There have been a surprisingly small number of anomalies. Oh, that scared me. Oh my god, it's only two! <laughs> oh no! Ooh, sorry I was only able to lurk yesterday. I'm doing okay. I found out that the three hours that disappeared today was me going down a rabbit hole trying to fix problems with my Netflix account. Oh no! Is your Netflix account being a pain in the ass? I'm sorry. But please don't ever apologize or worry about being able to only lurk. I appreciate my lurkers so very much. It, it means the world to me that you guys would come and spend time with me regardless. Mm. Ooh, Akumaru is almost at a year. Misa is at a year and three months. Oh my goodness, already? I love that. Thank you guys so much for sticking around and being here with me. Thank you, thank you. And Blue is at a year and two months. By the way, so uh, watching things was for the next movie night. I still need to, I still need to plan that. Um, I'm not quite sure yet. Um, and especially after the news this morning, I gotta kind of figure some stuff out. But I will have a new community night up as soon as I can, I promise. Uh, is this this? That scared me for a split second. I have lots of new movies. I also need to rebuy my Disney Plus. Yes, I am scary, babe. You got me shaking in my fur. I'm just, I'm so scared. <laughs> I love big scary bear. Hi, Grave! Welcome in, sweetie! How are you? 
Mm, okay, gallery disappearance, right? There was supposed to be something here. Am I wrong? No. You got me shaking ass. How am I? I miss the cat. <laughs> okay, so... So Grave called me on lunch today because he was like, I'm in, I'm distraught. I am distraught. I need to talk to somebody. And I was like, okay, what's going on? Like, what's the matter? And he's like, I had a dream last night. And in this dream, I had a cat and I had to nurse this cat back to health. And he like formed this bond with this cat. And he woke up and could not find the cat. Because the cat doesn't exist. He doesn't have a cat. <laughs> so <laughs> he called me like super distraught that this cat that he had like loved and nursed back to health and cared for doesn't exist. <laughs> and I just felt so bad because I was like, I don't, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm the one with the cats. Hand over your walls. FS eating the walls again. Oh. Um, no, not Abyss. Distortion in the library. Or is that considered movement? I don't like that. <laughs> I was like, where's my baby? Where's the baby? <laughs> it's me when I can't find Suki when I come home. It looked like he had three feet. Eats drywall and then drinks water so it expands in his stomach. Oh my goodness, no. I miss my imaginary cat. Go get a cat. Go adopt a cat. It's, it was a tortoise shell. Also, if I miss anything while I'm looking over for the game, please, please just go ahead and you can repeat yourself. Just don't spam because I, I feel like I'm missing a lot of shit. I'm so fucking tempted. <laughs> You're just going to call me like a video chat. Pineapple. And just be like, so I bought a cat. <laughs> But ironically, that's kind of how we ended up with both of our cats. It's like going the opposite way. Um, Foggy picked me up from work once. And I was working Black Friday, unfortunately, at a retail job. And he picks me up and he's like, we need to make a pit stop before we're headed home. And I was like, okay, wait, do we need to go to the store? Did something like happen? Like what's, what's going on? Like I'm, I'm fucking exhausted. I just want to go home. He's like, oh, I, I bought you something. I was like, you, you bought me something. Okay. What do you mean? And so we drive over and he had adopted a cat. He's like, I adopted you a cat. And I'm just sitting here baffled because I'm like, what do you mean you bought a cat? And sure enough, yep, we go inside and had to fill out the rest of the paperwork. He had, in fact, adopted a cat. And now that cat is like my best friend. I love her so much. She's my little shadow. She sticks by my side. Uh, kitchen painting? That's fuzzy now. From my cat at a dumpster. Hi, puppy shy. Welcome in. Um, I am all for, like, rescues. I have two dogs and two cats. Both dogs are a rescue and... Well, both dogs and one cat are a rescue, and then my cat, Suki, was adopted. Why did it send twice? I had to permit the term Maine Coon. That's why. Uh, 
So it, it appeared twice for Hangry and I. But I just, I had to permit the cat breed. Oh, hi. Um, library intruder. Black cats are, I love black cats. I love them so much. Oh my goodness, little voids. Little babies. I want a black cat so bad. Stream is fine, but chat keeps DCing for me. Oh no. That was, that was terrifying. Twitch hates cats. It's Twitch hates cats confirmed. We're just having a wholesome conversation about cats. Oh, 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 living room intruder. Oh, I can't move. I can't, no, 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 not like this. Not like this. Please, please, please. <laughs> oh no. That was so scary. Why was it just an eyeball? <laughs> Why did the arm come out of there? That was so, I hate when I can't leave because like with the intruders, normally if you leave the page, um, you have a higher chance of like not dying. Oh my God, that scared me. Okay, hold on, I'm missing a bunch of stuff. Um, I want an orange cat, black cat. Oh, I love orange cats though. I love, I love animals in general, please don't get me wrong, but I have always wanted a little void cat. Like ever since I was little. Can you rescue me too, please? I have already rescued you, FS, you're mine. That's why you're here. Need to get a new void creature sometime soon? Yes, get the void. I love all cats. I Yes, I love animals just so much. Like I've had cats and dogs, I've had a goat, I've had a pet deer. I had a, I had a deer once. Um, I've had birds, I've had guinea pigs, I've had rabbits, I've had chickens. I, I just love animals. <laughs> Sorry for repost, but sent this when Griff's talking about his dream. Not sure if I disconnected before sent. Remind me of the dream I had when I was a teen where I met and got what I thought was the love of my life and spent like what felt like two years with them and woke up and it was all just a one night dream. Please don't apologize for, for resending. Don't worry at all. But that reminds me so much of like the lamp theory. I don't know if you guys have seen that, but it was like somebody was like, I think they, I think this person in particular was in a coma and they had lived an entire life. Like they had a wife and they had kids, they had their dream job and they were, they were just happy. But then all of a sudden their, their lamp looked different. And when they touched the lamp, they woke up and everything was gone. Like all of it was just a dream. I would be so distraught. I would just not know what to do. Black cat reminds me of the one that was so sweet. Also, every time they went to the bathroom, they ran around meowing loudly afterwards to announce that they did it. <gasps> They're so proud of themselves for going potty. I love that. Uh, Eris kind of does that. She'll go in the litter box and she'll just meow. Like... She's like, oh, I'm, I'm in here. I'm, I'm pooping. I'm, I'm pooping. And just so you know, I'm, I'm here. And we're like, Eris, we, we can see you. Your, the door is clear. Oh, that's new. Living room extra object. I think. Well, there was something here that's different, but not the boxes. <laughs> Speaking of deers, almost got run over by two this morning when I drove to work. It suddenly came out of the forest, crossed the road about three feet from me. Oh my goodness. I'm glad that you're safe. I had a little pet deer. So I had to have an ACL reconstruction surgery when I was in high school. And while I was bedridden, my mom brings home a, a deer because they found it curled up next to its mom. That was unfortunately hit by a car. Um, I don't know why she brought it home, <laughs> but she brought it home. And so I bottle fed this deer and I had to teach this deer how to walk and everything. 
Um, so that was an experience. Did you guys know deer spit is incredibly sticky? Because the deer can like would suck on one of my fingers because it thought it was like its mom. So <laughs> that was an experience. I rehabbed a deer and then uh, I I let it. Obviously, I I released it. I put it, but I let it go. And I, I hope that, I hope she's doing okay. Cats for no reason. I wish to announce to everyone present that I am in fact pooping. <laughs> Honestly, she'll just sit inside of this box and just scream. I feel like that's less of rehab, more of raising. I mean, yeah, I mean, I suppose. I didn't. There was no injuries to the to the baby, but she couldn't even walk. She was that little. And so I had to bottle feed her and and teach her how to walk. Uh so living up to the forest deity title. What can I say? I fit my my aesthetic. To be honest, I thought is pretty depressing. Great! Thank you so much for the 10 months. Thank you. Thank Sylvan you. Six, love. Mwah, thank you so much for the resub, sweetie. Thank you. Thank you. Like it might not have been real, but the feelings probably were waking up to realizing it never happened. Absolutely distressing. Exactly. Exactly that. Like, even if it was never real, you still felt all of those things. You experienced these things. You formed these attachments. I don't know if I could live a life after that. Like, that would just break my heart into so many, like if I would have, if I would wake up tomorrow and all of this was fake. I never met any of you guys. I had never met the friends that I have. I didn't have Foggy and it was just all a dream. I would still have all of these feelings and what I thought were memories. But it, I would have to live knowing that it never even happened. Like, that's so scary. Oh. I like this painting. Hurts even just the two years. I experienced my exactly like oh my goodness that would just break my heart um we have two hours to go okay this like random shoe bothers me Okay, books, horseshoe. Hmm. I'll give all of you a big hug. Come here. You can hide in my tails. I'll keep you safe. I um I am not just a figment of your imagination, I promise. Nobody could think of something this fucked up. <laughs> I wish for a hug. Come here. I always think something's going to appear in this mirror, and I don't even know if that's a possibility. I'm hopping on a plane. Do it. I feel like there's... Hmm, I'm going to do object movement in the kitchen because I'm unsure about all these little things. No? Okay. Hmm. Oh! I think 16. That scared the shit out of me. Oh, I didn't want to do the same one. Hang on. We got got. We really did. We're all hopping on a plane because Sil said so. Do it. 
The forest welcomes everyone. Uh -huh, I'll make gumbo. <laughs> ah. I didn't, I thought we were doing pretty good. Come on. Yes. Gumbo, let's go. Yes. I've been craving gumbo so bad lately that I think um, when we go to the store, I'm going to get a bunch of stuff and um, Foggy and I are going to cook gumbo this weekend. I'd do it if I had the money. Ooh, a mood, honestly. I feel that in my soul. But even more depressing is that I like to imagine that we have a lot of dreams where we form relationships with people that don't exist. We feel all of it, and in a sense, we do live that life. And then we wake up, feel groggy, and the memories of the dream slip away, slip away leaving us with just the feeling of sadness that something is missing, but we don't know what it is. This is a thought that keeps me up at night. I have this thought, too. Because that grogginess that you're describing, I wake up with that every now and then. And then it's really weird because I'll also simultaneously have feelings of, excuse me, like deja vu. And a conspiracy theory that I really love and I think is really interesting is, um, <laughs> excuse me, that the deja vu or that grogginess you're feeling actually do isn't a dream. And it isn't like made up. It's actually just an alternate universe or it's an alternate timeline. It's just a different version of you that you're happen, happen to get a glimpse of. Or the deja vu is that the two timelines are kind of like syncing up for a split second and you're just like, what the fuck was that? This conspiracy theory is so interesting to my brain because I don't know about anyone else, but if you get deja vu, I have a tendency my instinct is to look around. Like I will look for a person and I'm like, what was that? Like, where, like, why is this so weird to me? And it's like, I saw somebody do like a, a thing on this and they were talking about the reason that you're looking for a person is because you're looking for the other you because you feel their presence for like a split second, like not even anything. And so these dreams that you're feeling actually are just a look into your alternate self's reality. But because it doesn't align with your current reality, the reality that we are living, that's why you don't remember. I miss my cat. <laughs> Do I need to send you pictures of my cats to make you feel better? They love you. They'll come cuddle with you. I like that theory. It's so interesting, isn't it? Because I never really considered that there's a an alternate universe. I don't always remember my dreams when I do. It's because I felt love like I never felt. Yes! Something about the relationships that you can form like that are just something else. I also have a tendency of dreaming about like people that I do care about. Or my dreams will replay memories that I do have. And it just, it makes me miss people so much more. I do feel like sometimes the dream you have is a vi vision of yourself in an alternate universe. It's so cool. I have deja vu quite a bit and it usually lasts a good while. I've had multiple occasions where deja vu lasted for half a minute. And it induces a bit of a panic because for during all of it, I'm waiting for the next thing to happen. Yes. So... That was another thing, and it was talking about that that's why it can cause... If it lasts for longer, it can kind of cause a sense of, like, uncertainty. is because that's not your timeline. And you're not understanding what's happening because you're not really meant to see that. Because that you're from a different timeline or a different universe. Now, obviously, there's no way to prove any of this. I just thought the... the the conspiracy theory was really interesting for the idea that that's where that that grogginess or that uncertainty and that deja vu comes from. Sometimes I have chain deja vu where I'll have deja vu of me having a deja vu of me having a deja vu and it always makes me anxious. Oh my goodness, that would make me so uncomfortable. <laughs> that would make me so uncomfy. I can only imagine... Like, that would just... 
<laughs> Unlucky alternate universe Grizz that died driving an ATV in a nightmare 10 years ago. Oh my goodness. No. <laughs> oh my god. I actually, I miss having like ATVs and everything. I used to drive like, uh, like play around with four wheelers and dirt bikes. Okay, so three books, two cups, one cup on a plate, flowers, tree painting, ominous painting, painting of a lady, lady, birds, six items. Let's see, fun fact about your dreams, the faces you see in dreams are faces of people you have passed in your... The brain cannot create a face. Yes, I actually knew this and I find that to be really interesting. That means that your brain will simply either show you a face that you have seen or it will take pieces of faces. Like it's, it's, like I've seen like my dad in my dream but he didn't look like my dad. But part of that is simply because my dad passed 10 years ago. And it's been a long time since I've seen his face. And my brain can't remember fully. Though it might come from PTSD, which makes my memory pretty fudgy sometimes. And that's also a possibility. Like, things that go on with the brain, whether that be TBI, PTSD, anxiety, these things can also all alter like how your brain functions and I think that that's also like super interesting not always interesting in a good way I would like to like state isn't that supposed to be on the floor hi Tanya welcome in sweetie how are you I'm gonna give you a shout out really quick. How are you, sweetie pie? Hello, hello, it's lovely to see you. I'm okay, how are you? I'm doing good. We're having some interesting conversations about conspiracy theories and we are playing a horror I spy game called Observation Duty. And it's just, it's good for just kind of like background play my new amends make me remember my dreams more clearly and I don't know if that's good or bad like I'm having a lot of nightmares both flashbacks and wacky nightmares and I remember them before I used to have them a lot but and when I woke up my psych directly deleted them from my memory back then I was confused why I would woke up drenched in sweat and now that I have a proper PTSD diagnosis, it makes sense. I'm glad that you were able to get your diagnosis. That way you could at least understand what is going on. I know that can be really scary. Um, I do hope that the nightmares and the flashbacks ease down. That way you can have some peace. But remember that you're never alone, okay? Thank you so much for the follow and the first time chat. Hello, hello. I hope that I said your name correctly. If I didn't, please make sure that you let me know how to say it. And I hope you're having a wonderful day, sweetie. I see those emotes. And this down here always fucks me up. <laughs> you guys and your cult command, it makes me giggle so much. <laughs> You're not part of the cult. Welcome in. You are mine now. Uh, living room movement. Did the chair move over? Dan, thank you so much for popping in and for the lurk. Thank you. Thank you. The good thing about PTSD is that the trauma situation is in the past and doesn't actually harm me. My brain just needs to understand that. Yes. Um... I know that it can feel, I know that like flashbacks can make it feel like it is currently happening again though. Um, but just know that you are loved and you are safe and you are cared for. And I really do hope that you get some peace very soon. I know that especially with the disruption in sleep, it can make it even worse. But 
You are wonderful, and I'm very happy that you're here. We love our cult command. I made it just for you. I'm glad it gets plenty of use. Um, might be able to get in my hands on a Huion 13 inch tablet for $20? For $20? Hell yeah. I love that. What? Oh no, it's, it's not a light. No, wait, I messed up. Bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a this. For 20 bucks, that's such a steal. I really want to learn how to draw. <laughs> I need to um, have the energy. I really want to sit down and I want to try like PewDiePie's thing where he, he drew something every single day for a hundred days. I really want to be able to draw some of my own emotes because I have some ideas that I want to try. I would love to do some for Foggy as well. I just don't know where to start. I, I use Clip Studio and so I'm having to figure that out on top of also how to draw. Good for you. So, it, it's a process, but I'm trying. They say it might be something wrong with it because it has trouble finding drivers on the PC, and, and that's really easy to fix. They probably just have the wrong drivers. Oh, probably. You can just go to the Huion website, and it'll tell you the proper drivers for the, the proper one that you're getting. Like, doing mine was super easy. If it doesn't work, no big deal. Nah, especially for, for 20 bucks. <laughs> 20 get it <laughs> blues like if you don't fucking buy it <laughs> fuck that scared me again um could be the cable is faulty it's not hard to fix either no that's not hard to fix and also uh Hueyon also sells their cables um separately so, like, if something is actually broken with just a cable, you can just purchase a replacement. And they're not expensive, like, the cables themselves, either. I also, I also vote by it. I'm so glad I got to know all of you. You're all so amazing. I'm a bit sad, though, that I had to stop uni, at least for now, in the foreseeable future. But there are many other paths my life can lead to. Aku, and it, I know that it can be scary, especially to have something like change up like that, that you're not really expecting. But I hope that you know that you are doing incredible. No matter where life takes you, no matter the path that you end up on, you are a wonderful person and I'm happy that you're here. And as long as you're happy, that's what matters. Because at the end of the day, you have you, you know? And as long as you're taking care of yourself and you are happy, that's what's most important. Ooh, living room movement. Yes, yes, yes. I know I tend to get squishy a lot. I will not apologize for this. <laughs> I care about you guys. Um. I'm finally off work, yippee. Welcome back, Curry. How are you, sweetie? How dare you care about us? How dare I? I I'm just, it's just an awful thing to do, I know. I'm watching this beer. I better not go anywhere. I'm tired, but I'm chilling. You did a great job, Curry. I'm proud of you. Make sure that you get something to eat if you need to, okay? 
We care about you, so I care about you guys so much. I never want you guys... Well, that's scary. I never want you guys to think that um, I don't see you as people. You know what I mean? Like, you're not just a number to me. A lot of streamers will always see. We see the names. We see the people behind them. And we care about you guys. That's why we, we notice when people are gone for a while. We notice when you guys pop in. We take note, our brains know. This, this always stresses me out over here. Thinking of picking up an apprenticeship as a librarian or as a bookseller, but at first I need to find a new place to live because I can't stay in my current flat. If I'm lucky, I might get one with enough space for cats. <gasps> cats! If you get a cat, you'll have to show in the in the pet channel. Mm -hmm. But oh my goodness, as a bookseller or like at a librarian, that sounds so cozy. I've always wanted to open like a little coffee shop with like, um, it's like half a, like a bookstore, half a coffee shop. A library with cats. Yes, exactly. Perfect. I'm horrible with pronouncing names, but I recognize them. Mm -hmm. Me too. It just occurred to me that this door is closed. That's a doorknob. I forget what, is that what just other? I never remember, or is it painting? Don't look at the windows. There are no fucking windows. Ah. Cat cafe with a library out on. Yes, that'd be so cozy. Library coffee shop with cats and candles and bread. I'll make homemade bread. I want to try sourdough. Um, I need to make a starter, but I need to buy a jar first because I ha if I have to leave it on the counter, I need to make sure that it has a proper lid because of our two cats. I don't want anything to, you know, contaminate it or anything like that. But I love sourdough bread. Ugh. This room makes me uncomfy because it doesn't seem like anything has changed. I learned to make garlic bread and now I make it every week and I feel like a garlic god. Oh my god, homemade garlic bread hits different. I fucking love garlic bread. It is so good. I saw this person, they made a loaf of pull apart cheesy garlic bread and I was like, I, that's it, I need it. I need it in my life. I, I require this in my stomach right now. I need it in me. I need it to be in my mouth. Bong. I need to make that. It's so, it looked so good. I need it. Hope I can get a flat with pet capacity, but I can't specifically search for pet friendly because I have a limited budget, not enough time to wait. Have to find something quick as possible. And that is completely understandable. A pet can always wait. Uh, I do hope that you're able to find one where you can have a pet, but your safety and comfortability is definitely most important. Um, I like this painting for some reason. <laughs> um, let's see. Why does this man have not one, but two lotions and a box of tissues on his desk in the study? Crawl to lurk because I gotta do school stuff. Have a good lurk, Curry. I appreciate you, sweetie pie. Good luck with your stuff. Mm -hmm. Priorities. <laughs> work is hard, hard while working, of course. I believe in you. Good luck with your school. Mm -hmm. Oh! Abyss. Abyss. Ooh. 
I'm determined to try to win at least one. Oh, the tires fell over. Um, hallway movement. I don't like either of these paintings, however. I don't... I don't know. <laughs> hmm. Also, I feel like this is a really bad idea to have, like, a just giant can of propane next to a fucking microwave. Okay, that's still here. I know these can flip, but I don't remember which side they were on. Movement? Did they flip? I'm assuming not. Okay, so the big one is on the left side. Oh wait, hallway. I think there's supposed to be more books here. What could possibly go wrong? Oh no! I don't, I don't know what I'm looking for. It's been so long. I used to have this map memorized because Foggy and I would play these all the time. But it's been so long since I've played that I don't have it memorized anymore. If my new place isn't pet friendly, I might pick up the volunteer work that I made before uni, consume most of my time. That. Oh, oh. Helping out at a local animal shelter, cleaning, feeding, walking the dogs, playing with the pets. I also used to volunteer at homeless shelters. Might do that again as well. Aw, Aku, you've got such a kind heart. I hope you know that. You've got just such a kind soul. Oh, you're new. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Let's see. And that is going counterclockwise. Oh, something happened to my floor. What the fuck would that be? Other? I think. Um, my brain, I return with my dinner and no one say anything nasty. Welcome back, FS. What'd you get for dinner? I'm also really hungry, which is good because normally when my pain levels increase, I don't get hungry. <laughs> so small wins. Why do these people always have so much flour? Rice with veggies and meatballs. Mmm, sounds good. I hope that it is delicious. I hope that you have a wonderful dinner. Oh. Where are the anomalies? It's only three. Oh, they fucking stole my TV. Give it back. I paid for that shit. I gotta give back. I received a lot of help from people my teen years and then once again I gotta give back by helping others you're wonderful gotta start guessing everything how I would play honestly I do that um oh look object movement in the study fuck you chair it's like these little things can be missing and moved goodbye to the roof in your bedroom <laughs> oh look uh, hallway disappearance. I think there's supposed to be something on this shelf. I think. Maybe. Yay! Books! Alright, fine. Uh, sauna. Extra object. 
Maybe. Is it supposed to be two pillows? Yes. Yes, it is. I know this painting can change. Her mouth will turn upside down and it'll, it'll look so silly. Um, oh, we're missing the, the thing of apples. Or potatoes? Apples? <gasps> See? See the fucking plants moved. I didn't like that sound. FS for free makes it cheaper to get those fancy sky view roofs. <laughs> I just ate them. They aren't missing. You ate all the apples? That's a lot of apples to eat. Touching, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in, sweetie. I hope you're having a wonderful day. We haven't had any intruders this time. Thank God. Oh, that's scary. Tree man. Pillows. If floorboards go missing, that's my bad. I tend to eat them. <laughs> Thank God I live in the forest and you guys can't eat my roof. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do movement because I don't remember if this one started over here and vice versa. Okay, but I think there was one over here. Yeah, thank God you do. Well, I mean, you're the one that chose to live in a castle. Oh my God, hi. Ghost. FS keeps eating my place. I mean, it's, that's your fault. I mean, if we eat enough leaves, we kind of do. I mean, I guess the forest would just be a giant salad at that point, no? Um. <gasps> thank you for the head pads. Mm, I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, see, look, her face changed. <laughs> it's so silly. <laughs> I'm gonna lock him in the dungeon. Ooh. -oo. I also want to be in the dungeon. The forest is a salad, the ocean is soup, and car parks are lasagna. <laughs> the ocean is a soup. It's got salt, it's got water, and it has meat. Soup. Locked in the unkinky dungeon? Oh, but that's no fun. Okay. Oh, wait, the... The door is open now. Not the unkinky dungeon. No, no, we don't have an unkinky dungeon here. It's a reward, not a punishment. Have you never heard of a punishment? Also, what kind of legion are you running that you need a sex dungeon? I'm just saying. Ooh, it's four. Okay, everything seems to be in order. He still got both of his lotions. You're doing great, bud. That's for when you visit? Oh. Well, we don't need a dungeon just for me. Oh, hi. Every legion needs one, obviously. <laughs> the man was smacking his head against my wall. Okay, so far so good, I think. Um. I don't know, the, like the quicker it goes to six, the more scared I get. I'm gonna 
to do extra object in the hallway because I think whatever this is is new. Maybe. Rome was known for orgies. <laughs> that's that's true. Oh wait, are you movement in the bedroom? Ow. Or does this move closer? No, okay. Oh, hello, there's a naked man in my kitchen. He better take that fucking chair with him because I don't want it. Take the chair, wash your ass. Get out of my kitchen. You're just looking for shredded cheese. I'm about to go look for some shredded cheese. Ooh, I really want like a nice grilled cheese with bacon. Mmm. They haven't taken my beer yet though, so that's good. Oh, bedroom. Distortion. Mm, grilled cheese, I know, it sounds so good. Like specifically with either like turkey or bacon. Mm. Okay. Uh, I love that immediately I was like, we haven't had any intruders, but that's a good thing. And then immediately we got fucking two of them. And, and we had a ghost. But I remember I was watching one of my VTuber siblings play this and that big ghost face that you see, um, he just kind of sits there and goes, wah, 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 wah. <laughs> and I don't know why. <laughs> Brie cheese on grilled chicken. Oh, I've never had brie cheese. I feel like the brie would be so good. I have turkey. I kind of want grilled cheese. Might make one. Do it. Make one. Oh, there's a person now inside of the painting. What? I've never had brie. I feel like it'd be good, though. I've actually never even seen Brie, like, in the store. I have to finish us and stuff. Well, after you're, after you're done with your, your schoolwork. But, you know, what's better for schoolwork? Feeding yourself. It makes your brain work. I love they made sure to, like, mark that out. Okay, everything is, my beer is still here. It's good, it's good, priorities. I'm gonna probably forget. You know, a mood, I can't really say much. I tend to forget to eat sometimes. And not because I want to, I don't encourage not taking care of yourself. I just fucking forget. Bring Brie for Sylve of Critter Meetup. <gasps> You'll bring me cheese? That's the way to my heart. I'll be so happy. Um, living room, extra object. Okay. Bong. Homemade potato soup. Oh my God, I love potato soup. Homemade potato soup with onions, chives, fried rye bread. Oh, I'm coming over for, I'm, I'm coming over. Object movement. My toilet paper is freaking out over here. Getting hungry thinking about all this food. Honestly, me. I'm so hungry now. But also, unfortunately, my pain levels are also increasing, which is not a good thing. Okay, you still got all your stuff here. Everything seems to be in order. Oh, painting anomaly in the bedroom. 
You are no longer a lady, and you have fingers for eyes. Hmm. That's unfortunate for you. A friend bringing me chocolate and food, thankfully, because I'm hungry. Aw, oh, I'm so glad that you have someone bringing you some food. That's so sweet. I hope it's delicious. I don't know. My beer! <laughs> Give it back. <laughs> Give it back. Pain is fixed with chocolate. Ugh, then I'm gonna have to go get some chocolate. Mm. Unfortunately, I don't know how much longer I can sit here because I'm starting to really hurt. Um, let's see, let's see. Flour, let's, I'm assuming coffee. Still got your lotion, still got your plants and your tissues. Do, 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 do. Cup, cup, plate, book, book. Six objects. My TV is still here. I know a second bottle of wine can appear. That's why I keep looking over here. Hurt more than the amount of chocolate I can eat with my allergy will allow. Oh my goodness. Please be careful if you're eating things that you have allergies to. If we do a critter meetup, we should do a kind of potluck, but it's optional. Ooh, absolutely. That'd be so much fun. Oh, it'd be like a giant picnic. I adore this. I adore this idea. Absolutely. Yes. Mm -hmm. Painting in the kitchen. I bring so much food for a potluck. I would be ecstatic getting to try a bunch of different food. However, I will. I have a um, like a fear. Cause I have been lied to so much. I won't eat something unless I actually know what it is. Because too many times I've been told something is one thing and it has in fact been something else. Where the fuck is my couch? Mild allergy, the kind I only eat in small amounts because it doesn't cause issues. Oh, okay. I don't think I have any food allergies. Thankfully, I have food dislikes. <laughs> That's about it. Um, that's still going that way. Ah! Oh. Sober, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in, sweetie. I hope you're having a wonderful day. It's lovely to meet you. Colt, Colt, Colt. Oh, thank you for the hydrate. <laughs> oh, and the stretch. Thank you. Oh, hi. Intruder in the sauna. Danish dishes. Don't worry, some also always care about what's in food I eat. So I'll bring you like a list of the ingredients. Oh, it doesn't need to be like ingredients, but like I, um, I was told something was something else when I was in high school. And it ended up being, uh, like, dried squid. Uh, and I immediately threw up. Let's go! We win! <laughs> I'm just, I'm just super weird about, like, being lied to about what's in food. And... Damn, I fixed 30! Let's go! I bring the... Surstroming? The what? Mm. Unfortunately though, I am... I need to go take some... Some medicine. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to cut today short. I'm so sorry. I was not anticipating having these issues today. Oh. Mm. But.
But I will still be back tomorrow. If anything, unfortunately, has to change, I will let the Discord know. I I plan to still be here, so don't worry about about that. So as of right now, I will be back tomorrow, but I definitely need to go take some medicine because I, I don't feel good. It's starting to make me feel nauseous, which I'm not enjoying. Um, Let's see, who can we raid today? No worries, take care of yourself, thank you. Aw, uh, thank you guys so much. Hi, and by I came to see two seconds of the Cult of Silvana. Hi, Aura! Thank you so much for coming by. I'm sorry, I know that I have to end kind of kind of early. Um, I'm not feeling very good. But I will be back tomorrow. Um, I'm also going to try to see what I can do about the, the next community night. I don't know when I'll be able to get that up, but I will do what I can. Um... I know who. Uh, oh wait, I think that they're ending. Never mind. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm trying to see all who is live right now. Uh, let's go raid somebody new. It looks like uh, Sugi is going to be playing Bread and Fred. Which is like a very fun little, little game, kind of like getting over it. And I think they just started. So there's um, raid messages for subs and non-subs. Please make sure that you grab the one that is accurate. If you would like to and you have not already... There is the link for my Discord. I would love to have you there. It's the best place to keep in touch with me, any updates that's going on, and in touch with your fellow community members. We would love to have you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I love you, Pocky. Um, but we're gonna go see Sugi. It looks like they're going to be playing Bread and Fred soon. I'm gonna go take some medicine and hopefully, hopefully eat. Um, and then I will I will see you guys, I hope, tomorrow. I don't think I won't be here, but we will we will see. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being here. You are wonderful. Mwah! I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.